Good evening, Mr. Stanton. Here's the telegram from San Francisco you've been waiting for, Mr. Fessenden. Captain Clark is investigating Abel Rackaby at Rackaby's Landing. Rackaby? Never heard of him. Who was he? Head of the gold thieves? We don't know. But Steve Clark is taking a desperate chance in order to find out. Six Z three Otto Murdoch in person. Let me see. Murdoch's last assignment, as I remember it, was to kill you, Captain Clark. Murdoch got what you'll get, Rackaby, if you try anything. Hand me that list of your agents. You're unwise, Captain Clark. Murdoch had to go to you, but now you have to come to me. Give me that book. Return to Earl Grandy now, Congressman Merck. I underestimated you, Rackaby. So did Captain Clark. It is unfortunate that Morrell can't take lessons from you. I shall tell him of your success. Now what, Mr. Rackaby? If I give it to this one, like the last one? We'll decide later, Grattan. After I have a talk with him. Get the ladder for me. Take a look down there, Sam, and you better take a light. Mr. Rackaby will keep better in jail. We'll press him there later. Put the handcuffs on him. I knew you'd go into action when I failed to return on schedule. It might have been too late at that. These some of the coins dated 1752 you were telling me about? Yes, I know what they're used for now. Here's something I found. Where'd you find that? On the floor in that room. Do you recognize it? Yes. That being here explains why Rackaby was expecting me. Someone from Ora Grande was hiding in that room. I'm going below. Six Z three. Here it is. Six Z three. Otto Murdoch. Yes, Murdoch was the agent who tried to murder me back east. Hey, how about this one? Seven R seven. Seven R seven. You go Metzger. Go Metzger. So that's Rackaby's real name. Won't that help me when I start to question him? How about that other coin? Oh, yes. Well, it doesn't have any number in it. Just a name. Von Merck. Von Merck. That name's not listed here. What do you make of it? Well, Von Merck, whoever he is, must be a really important agent. And he's operating out of Ora Grande. It's too bad you couldn't get a lead out to him. And by the way, Steve, have you noticed that all the names listed here are German? You can't miss. Well, if we could only get a list of the American names these Germans are using. Yeah, that'll come. At least we know it's not a Confederate organization we're fighting. It's a Prussian spy ring. Prussian? How do you make that out? I just got the answer. Now, I never could figure before why the coins came from different countries, and the dates are always the same. Well, I'm not much on history. What is it? Well, 1752 was the year that Frederick the Great, the Prussian demigod, published his secret political testament. I never heard of it. Well, Frederick wrote it for his heirs, telling them how to rule Prussia so that Prussia could conquer the world. Pardon me, Chief, but there's enough gold downstairs to buy San Francisco. It's in a box marked Ore Samples. Gold or gold ore? Gold. It's supposed to be sent to a Berlin museum. If you ask me, it's a new name for a mint. 
You see, you can bring a rowboat onto the wharf, right to the room, and load from there. Well, in that case, we ought to get a very interesting report from the men examining that ship in the harbor. Clark is back from San Francisco. He'd probably be there yet if Rackaby hadn't been killed trying to escape. You assure me Clark could get a direct lead for Rackaby's. I hope you're right. Absolutely right. Fortunately for Prussia, we still have gold, and we can still get it out of the country. If we succeed, we should be heroes, Trina. Prussia will have a down payment for the purchase of Alaska, and it uh, certainly will not hurt Eric von Rugen or Countess Elsa von Merck. Exactly. But I wish Colonel Sewell the state of Fort Loma. He presents one more obstacle. Sewell, Clark, none of them matter. The fact remains, we still have a chance. Glad to see you again, Steve. Same goes for you, Colonel Sewell. Did you learn anything in San Francisco? Yes, I'm now able to tell you something very definite about the Oregrande Gold Raiders. Well, uh, suppose we step in the office. Just what I was going to suggest, Colonel. Everything's all set, just like you told me in the letter. Kathy, Doc, and me figured you'd want us to tell the Colonel. Yes, if either Bill or Dan is a traitor, as you suspect, they'd certainly try to hear what you're telling us now. That's why I sent the letter, so that everything could be timed for my first explanation after I return. Well, I've been thinking it over, and Steve is right. One of them two has to be tipping off the agents we're after. This trap ought to catch the traitor, and the Prussians, whoever they are, that hang out at the Golden Eagle. That ring telegraph always goes off when I don't want it to. Well, I gotta go down to the blacksmith shop, so I'll deliver that telegram if you want me to do Thanks. Talk. I'd better do the honors for this one in person. All right. Did you hear what Captain Clark said about capturing the gold raiders? Well, I couldn't help it, Kathy. And I sure hope he does. So do I. But I wish he'd asked me to hear what he has to say. Well, you can anyway if you want. That partition ain't as thick as you think it is. You know, me and Bill have listened there before. Maybe I will at that, Dan. Thanks. Huh. Just stick your ear to the wall, eh? <laughs> well, I've got to deliver this. There's Kathy's signal now. Bill and Dan have both stepped out. agents here in Oro Grande, but we did get the gold, and we know all the localities where agents are stationed. But what's more important, we also know that the gold stolen by the Oro Grande gold raiders is still in this vicinity. That's wonderful, Steve. How about a lead to the men operating here? I've got one, Idaho. Either Dan or Bill, maybe both of them are in with them. Dan or Bill? Yes. We're going to find out which and then let him lead us to his superiors. Dan or Bill? Might be either. Well, whichever it was, he sure heard something worth reporting back to his boss. Our agent from Wells Fargo wants to report in person. Have him come down. Lucky for us that Clark isn't sure which of you two is my man. Captain Clark is not as clever as I thought. 
He should know that only you had the opportunity to murder the father of Kathy Haynes. Drop this coin to the coat pocket of your fellow suspect. Then signal to Bart. When Clark finds that coin on a man who has just been shot, he'll suspect him, never you. How about it, Bart? If all your jobs were as easy as this one, I wouldn't have any kick. How's everything at the blacksmith shop, Bill? Blacksmith? Oh, all right, Kathy. There's your man, Steve. I'll break you in two. This proves it. Huh. Proves what? Who gave you that coin? I found that on the street. He came out of the back door of the Golden Eagle, just like you figured he would, Steve. Bring him into my office. They know it's Bill. They just grabbed him. In that case, I guess we'll all have to go to the Ghost City hideout. Not where there's still a chance to keep from exposing ourselves. Braddock. Get your rages to Rimrock and wait for Bart there. What are you going to do? Outsmart Steve Clark for a change. Hank, arrange for someone to speak to Dr. Blair. This is the message. I'm going to do a little investigating on my own, Steve. Well, I hope you have better luck than I've had. <laughs> you ain't doing bad, son. Is Bill talked yet? No, he's stubborn. Colonel Sewell's taking charge of it. Kathy. Will you take a ride with me? Uh-oh, Mrs. Carmody. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Carmody. Man just brought me word. She's sure she's dying. <laughs> she wants to see you as well as me. Go ahead, Kathy. If you want, I'll watch things here. Thanks, Dan. All Mrs. Carmody wants is visitors. I'll get my head. <laughs> Steve Clark, as usual, only he's causing more trouble this time than ever. Deuce, Ace, King. Settle up, boys. We've got to make Rimrock by dark. You sound like bad news. Well, I ought to. Clark on to us? Not yet, but he's breathing right down our necks. Morell's talking about moving out here. They stopped us at Rimrock. They took her, and they sent me back to tell you that she will be killed unless you turn Bill over to them by sunup. I better try to find Idaho for you. Huh? Get him, Dan, but I'm not waiting for him. You said Rimrock, didn't you? Yeah, and they're expecting you there in the morning with Bill. Then they're not expecting me there now. No. Take this rag off. It's sure getting uncomfortable. Wait a minute. Rawhide can't work in Aura Grande anymore because he's recognized. And I don't want that to happen to you. What do you think about Clark? He'll try to reach her, all right. But when he does, we'll be ready for him. Well, I'll check with the boys just to make real sure. I'm sorry about you, ma'am. But you're safe enough unless they fail to turn Bill over to us, like we said. And if somebody comes out here trying to get you away, don't cooperate because you'll get it just like him. <laughs> 